Hello everyone, this is Louis, and I'm here tonight to show you how Tiger works. Now, I'll start from the point where you have actually logged in and uh, set up your account in Tiger. So if you haven't, go and create your free account. This is Tiger's uh, website, login, and I have my account here so I can log in. Now, when you log in, Tiger is going to show you all kinds of projects that are currently going on. What you should go to is your dashboard. Dashboard is yours, the projects that you are enrolled in. Now, there are many projects for many different people. Some projects are open, some projects are private. We are working on an open op source power electronics project, which is a public project, everybody can see. So if you go and click on it, you're going to be led into the projects page. Now, there are a few things that we're going to work with all the time, and this is uh, will be you find it on your left in the, in the window. You have timeline, backlog, issues, wiki, and team. Oh, you also have admin, but you're not going to work with that. Now, we are mostly going to focus this discussion on backlog, issues, and wiki. But there is, we're going to see quite quickly what is timeline and what is team. So when you start, usually you start at the timeline that shows you what's been going on. We're going to come back to this in a second. When you're actually working, most of your work gets done on the backlog. What is the backlog? Backlog shows you what's going on and who is doing what. Now, when we are working with Tiger, it means that we are splitting our project into sprints. Sprints are time-defined uh, blocks of work. Right? In the right here, you can see we are currently on the first design run sprint, which goes from the 16th of April to the 30th of April. Now this print is currently taking place and within it several actions, several things that are going on, right? Now when you get a lot of actions together, that's what in Tiger we call a user story. So usually it goes like this. Say me and Jonathan we got together and we decided we want to get people to use Tiger, as you can see here. That's a user story. That's something saw from the end point. From where you want to get to to achieve so I, all the trick in, with using tiger is to set up user stories that are neither too big nor too small they're big enough to not be projects on themselves uh, but they're small enough so that they're not sorry they're not too big so they're not projects on themselves and they're neither too small so they're just tasks user stories are a chunk of activities that go together so if you look a look here you can add a new user story so let's try that out say you want your new user story so you want to uh, uh, develop a say we want to develop a feeder system or the power converter. That's what we want. All right. So what does that mean? That means uh, we discussed this during the last meeting. We have part of the energy going through a feeder at the power motherboard that generates twenty-four or twelve volts, and the power modules they generate plus fifteen or five volts locally. So, what does this mean? This means that some people are going to be engaged into this activity oh there are three types of people in our project there's the managers which is jonathan and i there's the motherboard crew and there is the power module crew now there is no managing activity on this basically there's none um, there is some activity in the motherboard crew so we attach points to it now these points means the amount of time but also the difficulty of performing a task sometimes a task is very difficult but doesn't take that long so developing a feeder system is a quite complex task, or at least it requires some interaction between the motherboard crew and the power module crew. So let's say 15 points is a good measure of something that's quite medium to difficult um, already. For, from the power module side, it's not that difficult as it is from the motherboard because the power module is just going to get the energy and, and create a plus 15 plus 5 volts regulator so let's say that's about um, it's about half the difficulty don't worry about estimating this correctly this number of points it 
it has more to do with your appreciation of how tough this thing is and Taiga will adapt itself to your point giving uh, method once you do that uh, user stories you can tag create them as new and there you go you create your user story simple as that user stories here goes into your sprint now let's take a look inside the sprint and see what's going on as I said we have started a user story with Jonathan where we want to get the people to use Taiga so there are things going on right now these are tasks that me and Jonathan have created and I am currently doing this task which is make a short 10 minute video on how to use Taiga uh, the task we've just in the user story we've just created there is develop a feeder system for the power converter now we can add a new task to this by clicking on the plus and here we can say something like size the feeder in the other part something like that this is something that should be assigned to someone now the, the power but who should we assign this to we'll get we'll get you back to that in a second so let's say we also need to tag this this is a test that must be done this is very important so we put it as a must do task if it was a less least important task we could put it as a should do task and if it was not that important we could just could do it it's a could do task all right for now it's a must do because this is important so we get this out of the way and there you go we create a new task now the task is here but we need to assign this to someone but who should we assign this to well let's go take a look in the team if you click in team you see who is doing what so power module crew is john motherboard crew is jessica uh, motherboard crew is also matthew and rafael is also motherboard crew so we want to assign a task of who's going to size the feeder on the motherboard now this is the type of type of task that would take several people to do so let's say the students with jessica are going to do this so we go back to backlog we go back into the sprint and into the sprint we can put this task to jessica because we know she's in the power model uh, power motherboard crew however maybe other people want to want to watch this out so we can add watchers people who are interested in this and possibly let's say Jean because he's doing the, the power module he's in the power module crew so he wants to keep a look at what's going on here you can add some description add some comments as you wish task board is, uh, task is being assigned it's been created and if Jessica starts working on it she can swap it into progress and if eventually it gets done she can put it into closed as I have done with the previous task up here so now you know the basics of using creating and moving tasks around so let's say this is an in-progress task just as much as my short video right now so but sometimes when we're performing tasks things go wrong and we will report we can report that in Tiger as issues so let's say Jessica gets this task starts thinking about it she says hey I don't know how much power does uh, or the modules required the power modules so she comes here creates a new issue and she can ask a question can it be a bug something she's but in this case it's a question and the question is what is the power needed by the power modules this this is in terms of priority this is normal but this is a very important question and that question gets created who should we assign this to well that's certainly not to jessica she's the one creating it so let's say this is assigned to jean because he's part of the power module crew and gets there and eventually when jean has the time he can go in click in there answer the question and change its status to something else eventually to close it as well so now you know how to make new tasks how to run issues and finally once we get knowledge uh, consolidated we can go into the wiki and we can write things down now let's say we go into project specification and we write 
that the the, the feeder specifications are uh, 24 volt on the power motherboard and plus 5 at sorry on the power module and we get to save this so as you as you go forward and you update your your data and your stuff just drop it here drop attachments as well and get as much information as you can into this wiki so this is pretty much it uh, this is an initiation please take a time to take a look around this is the team these are the people who are currently working and if everything goes well we can add more more people to this okay so far i'm the one using it the most please feel free to use it as much as you can and if you can by any means create your own user stories into the backlog and add tasks to it yourselves so at least we can see what's going on and you can always add people as watchers so we are sure that everybody is, is, is keeping an eye on what's going on in the project. Thanks everyone and have a nice night.